for your journey in life, you need direction from the master. Get set, for the word you're about to hear is a roadmap out of every challenge into newness of life. Now, Apostle Jotan Obai Adams. Knowledge and action. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 3 and James chapter 1 verse 22. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 3. First Samuel 2 verse 3. And then James 1 22. The Bible says, Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge and by him, what? Actions are weighed. Hallelujah. Our God is a God of knowledge and by him, actions are weighed. James 1 23, the Bible says, But be ye what doers of the word, hallelujah, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, hallelujah. So, our topic this evening is knowledge and action. Praise God, knowledge and action. Now, we define knowledge on Sunday to be knowledge means awareness, hallelujah, awareness of a fact or an information. But then action means movement in response to a known knowledge. Listen, you know about something and then you take a direction in that action. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now the reason why this is coming at the early of the morning so that we'll be able to know it very, very well and take notes. Praise God. <laughs> okay, truth or <laughs> keep back the back. <laughs> I want knowledge and action. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> oh God. The aim of every knowledge is to is uh, the aim of every teaching or the aim of us acquiring every knowledge is to see results. Is to see results that is based on the action. And let's say that means what I meant by that is the aim of anybody teaching you is so that you take action with respond to that knowledge and you see results. Is that true? You know, the Bible speaking in Mark 3, verse 14, say he called them that they may be with him so that he will train them and then they will become disciples, not just to teach them knowledge and then Peter will lead them to fishing again. Is that not true? So the aim of everything, now, after I've taught you about faith, I expect you to take action in response to faith. Not just to have the knowledge and become swollen people with so much knowledge like a Pharisee. Do not too much but little action. So the aim of every action is for us to take Knowledge, sorry, is for us to take action in the direction of the knowledge we have just acquired. Is that not true? Yes. No, but what I want us to know is a proof of true knowledge is a commensurate action in that direction. A proof that you truly know something is an action you take in that direction. You don't really know something if you're not taking action about it. Do you know what I'm talking about? If you know that this is the will of God for you, a proof that you know, that's why I, I, I believe from my experience so far. Anybody telling me that God has said this, God has said this, I don't believe them till I see them acting in that direction. Because if they are truly sure that God, God Almighty spoke with them, they will act about it. Many people say, God has told me, call him, call me to minister, call me after a while. Why are you, sir? As, uh, I'm just working in one place. I was just taking teaching in one school. Just, I said, I know this person was not never called. Because the sign that you are truly called is you will do what you are saying. Well, it's not that you truly know something. It's the action that you take in that direction to prove your knowledge. Because you must take commensurate actions to your knowledge to prove that you know that thing. You know, you don't really know it. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three thing I want to say before I continue is every knowledge bears fruit when acted upon rightly and effectively. Every, every knowledge bears fruit. Both positive and negative knowledge. Hallelujah. They bear fruit once we take action commensurately. Hallelujah. All of us are aware that Jesus Christ sent us in Matthew 28, verse 18. He says, Go into the world and what? Preach the gospel. And everyone shall hear and be my disciple. And then he said, We'll see miracles and signs. That's not true. Everybody knows that information. They were here praying, Lord, we need signs and wonders. But the Bible says, We know that the way to get signs and wonders is go outside. That's not true. But we we'll never see miracles until we step out. In Mark 16, 20, the Bible says, The Lord confirmed their world with signs and wonders, but they stepped out. In the, you know, I never knew I was powerful until we went, when we went for crusades, sincerely. So I'm not, 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 I never knew I had anointing or I was, I was anointed until we went for one crusade. Close to this, because don't carry here. 
How the name of that village? Or is or something like that. When you are approaching local that that's the one that you visit. It was a cotton candy zone that had a crusade. I know I went there to minister. I saw what I have never seen in my life. When I remember I knew it was absolutely God, but I never knew that something like that could be possible in my life. That was when I saw somebody that had two body temperature from here to here is cold, from here to here is hot. Yes. Two body temperature. You can put his hand here, it felt freezing cold. Here, hot temperature by satanic power. Late hands on him till the temperature neutralized from head to head, head to shoulder. I could not believe it. First of all, I was even afraid to pray. I said, what am, what am I getting into? But I laid hands on him. I don't know what came up. You know, sometimes the anointing comes upon you and you will be very, very bold. Laid hands on him till the temperature you could feel the neutralization and everything became normal. Many stand then so married people that could not give back something like that. And then they were oh, like, I could not believe it. I remember one of the hotels that we went in Ogori, Ogori zone. One woman came and met that she was working in Abuja. She picked a letter. You know, Abuja is a place where a lot of things happen. She could not, but there was a note and money was attached to the note. Like there was money and then something was written and attached to the money and tied together. She was broke, so she just carried the money. She just needed us being. She just picked the money, couldn't read because she couldn't, she was not literate. Carried the money and left. From that day, anytime she was pregnant, a man appeared to her and she has a miscarriage. From that day. And then we prayed for her and that was it. Hallelujah. Like I remember any time we step out, step out, step out, step out. I still think that shouting here will never see. <laughs> shouting here will never see. Remember when we went to go give holy? When we went there to minister? We went with some of our members. They were like, ah, Alpha, now this thing is going to happen in here. <laughs> yes. So every knowledge that we know, if we act accordingly, there will be a result. If we know that the way to get is by giving, if we give, we'll get. Do you understand that? So every knowledge known acted upon will see result. Number four, if only we have acted on 50% of what we know, we'll not be here. Do you know that? Is it true? If we are taking action on 50% on all we have known, like I used to say always, calculate the number of Sunday services you have attended since we are born to this very moment. Just imagine if all of us, including myself, have applied all those knowledge. We have been talking about meditation. We have been talking about studying the word of God. We have been talking about prayers. The importance of praying in tongues. Spiritual downloading power speaking in tongues. The capacity of studying the word of God. Revelation, new man. You may use Greek, Hebrew. Imagine all the things you have had in campus. There's all the fire, all the revelation, all the conferences you have all attended. Imagine if you have answered all of them. We cannot be here. We cannot be here. Hallelujah. Now, how do you translate knowledge to action? That is why I like in my like I don't like I like after sharing I, I like you to know how to get to that level. I don't hear that. How do we achieve that result? Because it's possible. So that everything, you know, this our amount of knowledge and revelation. I had a lot to share. When I was looking at my notes, I was like, God help us. I wish we could add extra days to this month. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, but the point is not to share and bamboozle people. I was blessed. Your message was wow. The message was wow. Your message was. I remember somebody was here after Sunday. The, the message was. The, uh, uh, you know, I don't that thing, eh? Again, I, 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 it's okay to hear, but most times I am more encouraged when I see action towards it or when I see results. Are together, yes, because I have attended many people. Ah, the message was blessing. So what? Alpha, what? What is the result? No result. No result. The message has been powerful. Imagine sitting on that man of God. Imagine somebody. I remember when I was to the point at that time when I was in campus, 200 level. I've never met him. The message, you are a battle axe, Jared's war. Messages like that. Then when I listen to those messages, I was wondering how are his church members? How can you be hearing something like this? I was I wanted to see the way the church members were. Because that message alone blew my mind where I was. So I was wondering about his church member that I hear him every Sunday, every weekday. So that, that message built my life. But the truth is, because when I had that, I took action on what he said. But many of them were here and never take action about it. So there will not be results. And then it will look as if God is not working. Why God is meanwhile is working? Many people have received different instructions, but never acted upon. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Many mentoring sessions or many people that do well, when I'm with my spiritual for mentor like that, any instruction they give is not it's not as if it's instant, it's almost instant implementation. All together. When I listen to my spiritual fathers or my mentors, every time I listen to their message, it's not just for excitement. I listen to get instruction. Because to me, they are not just preachers. So you me now? To me, they are instructors. He never told us everybody should do this kind of thing, do this kind of thing. But when I listened to him, he said that I do this every week, every time. That is an instruction to me. To, him, that, to me, it's not just a preaching. I don't say, wow, I like this man of God. Ah, he very because this is what he do. No. To me, this is something to do. I was, I was I am blessed by his life. His life inspires me. You know, he inspires you to act. How do you hear that? So how do you translate knowledge to action? Number one is take corresponding action based on the level of knowledge that you know. Now, we all know that you don't know a lot or we don't know as we should ought to know. But the little that you know, take what corresponding action. In Romans 12 verse 6, the Bible says, let everybody that prophesy, prophesy according to what? The measure of his faith. That means if you cannot prophesy one million naira, don't prophesy. If you can prophesy one thousand naira, at that level of faith, prophesy one thousand naira. That's what he's saying. Now, you don't know about the hum humiletics, humiletics, homiletics of, of the Bible. You don't know about Greek and Hebrew, but you know the little obedience. Do this. You know the little that you know, act on it. You know, you don't know about prophet offering. You don't know about seed faith. You don't know about title, but you know about tithe. You know about offering. Do that one. You don't know about waiting on the Lord. When they say waiting on the Lord, I was waiting on You don't know what is waiting on the Lord. But you know what is prayer. Pray. Is that true? To the level of knowledge that you have, take action. Okay, that, that is the way to transmit knowledge to action. You know, the Bible was speaking in Genesis 24, verse 27. The prophet, the, the servant of, of, of Abraham, what is his name? Eliezer, is that correct? He said that I was in the way and the Lord led me. Do you understand that statement? He didn't know the way. He has never been to Kenya before. He has never been to where Syria, where Arab. He said, he don't, go Abraham said, go and bring my He said, he started moving. And the Lord let him. So what you know, start acting. The Lord will lead you. No vision comes at the beginning complete. Do you understand that? Every vision that God will give you will never come complete. Nobody knows it all. It always faces you. So what you know, act on it. What you know, what? Act on it. What you know, act on it. At that level, translate that knowledge to action. Translate it. Number two way to translate knowledge to action is develop faith in God's faithfulness. That the Lord what faith in God's faithfulness. The Bible was beginning in Genesis 12, verse 1. The Bible said, God called Abraham to leave his father's house. <laughs> and then Abraham, that was all he knew. He had never been to Canaan, but he left and followed. Is that not true? Does that sound like faith? That's why he became the father of faith. Leave glory and go to Lagos. I did, yesterday I was watching on Sunday. Is it on Sunday? I was watching a video of a young guy, 31 years. Is it 31 years old? Yes. He left Abuja last year, 2019, to worry. When he arrived, worry, didn't know where to sleep. He was stranded. I don't know whether God let him. I saw him in a genuine palace from anyway. In less than one year, he was dedicated a clean, brand new Lexus. Is it like you this guy? The, the logo was covered when he was mapping. Very clean. So by that act of obedience, just have faith in God. Anything that God has told you and you know, believe God and act on it. Do you understand, guys? Believe God. Believe Him. Look stupid. Enjoy. Let me tell you something. As a sign of goodness, enjoy being mocked. Enjoy people laughing at you. You have to get comfortable with being mocked. Even though you never taste greatness. Do you understand? Don't always like it to hit it big anytime you're on the show. Enjoy mistakes. I was reading a book by Gary Chapman yesterday. Yesterday, yes. I want the woman to make the comment that she, she has never been afraid of doing something and failing, but she has always been afraid of succeeding without doing anything. Do you hear that statement? 
She has never been afraid of doing something and failing. She's not comfortable with attempting something and failing than doing nothing and succeeding. And that was a powerful mindset. Never be afraid of failing. Personally, I've never been afraid of failing. I've never been afraid. My fear is irresponsibility that I'm not taking action. So comfortable, be comfortable, develop faith in God. God said in Genesis 22, verse 2, say, pick your son, I will go and sacrifice him to a mountain I will show you. God didn't tell him the mountain, you remember? He took action. In the morning, the Bible said, he didn't even tell Sarah. Pick the young boy early in the morning. Began to go. No discussion. He has told Sarah it wouldn't be possible. See, your village people are speaking to you. The song we waited for is not God. God gave us some as a miracle. She, can, she will cause scripture to believe, to make him convinced, not God that is speaking to him. Is that true? He took action based on what he know. And because now God said, now I know you fear me. And then he said, that was when God looked at heaven, looked at the earth. We swear at things that are higher than us. Then God said, I swear by myself. Are we together? So they have no faith in God's faithfulness. Anything you know, if but anytime God speaks to you, eh, do this thing. Believe that God is faithful. I believe in the word of God. Hallelujah. I believe in the word of God. The Bible says, My son, attend to my word. Incline their ears to my saying. Do not let them depart from their mouth. For they are alive today that find it and what? Health to all their flesh. That means the word of God can bring healing to my body. The word of God can. I believe it. So at any time I, I feel pain, I put hands on them. The Bible says it should not depart from my mouth. I declare I be in health and I prosper. I be in health and I prosper. I be in health. Hallelujah. So act on what you know and believe in the faithfulness of God. That is why I believe that my future is great. I believe in God. Because all that I know he has told me. I have done it. Do you understand? Everything he said, if he said move here, I have moved. Any instruction he has given me, he told me we should go, I did it. So I know, and I know he's faithful. Do you understand? I know he's faithful. So look how he has blessed us. Today I was, uh, me, uh, me did something, and I just shared on, on YouTube, and a lot, a lot of people are telling me that they got the message three months ago, like three weeks ago, and I never knew that these people here are even listening to me at all. Yeah, they, they, they are so blessed when they go. I, me, I could not believe it. Because God is the God who always confirms his word. Because he's a faithful God. I was together. So the first I said, take corresponding action based on the level of knowledge. In this month, I will be sharing with us level of knowledge. There are three levels of knowledge. Shall I tell you? Oh, will I tell you now? Number three, <laughs> number three, <laughs> how to translate knowledge to action. Number three, be result oriented and goal oriented. Be what? Result oriented. James chapter 2, verse 14 to 15. It is a natural strength of cholerics that they like getting results. Hallelujah. That's true. What do they profit, my brethren? Though a man say he has faith, I have no words. Can faith save him for where? If a brother says be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be you warm and feel, notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to their body. What does it profit? Even so, faith it had no if even so faith, if it had no works, is dead, being alone. All together. That means I want to see results, and I know that results come by action. Is that true? Results come by action. If I want to eat food now, I cannot put the food in front of me and fast for three days and come to the food and begin to pray in tongues. Shabala, food enter. Food enter. Ilabayadabalada, food enter. Food will never enter my stomach. I have to eat it. Is that not true? Yes. So if you really want to see result, because result don't come alone by speaking. There's a result that come, there's a love that come by speaking, but I remember that come with my action. Hallelujah. 
one of the man of God that I respect, Bishop Oye but when it comes to responsibility and actions, speaking alone will not change a lot of things. That's the responsibility. I hope you that. So, like to see results. Like to see results. And the way you like to see results, you take action. You will take action. Last week, I was trusting God to a particular level of money and I needed a miracle in two days. And then I was praying, I was praying, I was praying. Right in my spirit, I know prayer will not solve this problem. See what I said? I pick the call and I make the necessary calls and then I got the money. I will have been there praying, Lord, touch their heart, touch their heart, touch their heart, touch their heart, touch their heart. Not money will not come. Hallelujah. So that many times that I needed to do certain things, I will not do them until when I know that the Holy Spirit is work, you are wasting your time. Then I will take the necessary actions. So be result oriented. When you are result oriented, you will take action. Do you understand? You will take action. Be result. Like to have result. Naturally, I like result. Maybe because of my, my inclination. I like to see results. Hallelujah. So you take action. Take action. All the things that you know. All the things that you know. Take action. All together. And then you will see the result. All the things you know about healing. All the things you know about miracle. If you never look for a sick person and pray for them, you will never see the result. Is that not true? Many people on Sunday morning don't have any demon. Especially the Kina here. Many people are okay. So if I teach out there, I cast out, I, I'm wasting my time. If I want to cast out demon, I know where to go. Is that true? Yes. There are people that when you see them, you see a demon literally walking. Many people are suffering from ignorance. Not really any demon. Demon is not this. So many people. Like, like Pastor David, um, Pastor Prophet Emmanuel Kwagadua was sharing that somebody came to him from Namibia, he traveled far to Zimbabwe for one of their conference. And then the Prophet was laying hands on many people that had demons and they were manifesting. And they were all manifesting, they were all manifesting. And then the man said, The Prophet laid hands on him and he didn't manifest. So the conference was discouraged. Made one of the pastors and said that the pastor is not the Prophet, but Prophet Maganua is not powerful. He lifted up his shirt and then there were charms all over around his waist. He said, look at this charm I'm carrying. And he still didn't fall down. Like no manifestation. That means the man is not powerful. Then the man went and told Prophet Makadua. He said, this is what somebody said. Then Prophet Makadua said, go and tell him that no metal detector dictate plastic. A metal detector don't dictate plastic. <laughs> Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That means the charm was fake. <laughs> so no metal dictator to take plastic. If you are not dictating, that means there was nothing there. The man said he could not believe it. So when he went back to his country, went to look for the native daughter that gave him the charm. When he got there, he discovered that the native daughter, the people in the village had sent, sent him away. That he had defrauded a lot of people and he was a quack eating doctor. So there are many people what they are carrying, there is no power. There is no charm. There is no because the point is, fake native doctors are more power, are more plenty than the real ones. Yes. How do you know that? There are plenty fake native doctors. Um, plenty fake babalawos. If not, if not, if, if the ones that make people rich are everywhere. Think about every, everybody will be rich now. The real ones are powerful as Kanti. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So be result oriented. Hallelujah. Be goal oriented. Like to see results. So, like, like okay, why let me just give an example was if 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 he was staying in one place, he wouldn't see that kind of result. You have to step out, step out, step out, step out. Like results. If you want to increase your finances, there must be things you will do. All the knowledge on wisdom for finances, this about finances, this about finances. When you read them, this is my note, hallelujah. When I get a sermon, most I read them and then let me I wish I can show you some things. The way I mark note, see. This is a star. Okay. This is a star. This is an arrow. A star and an arrow. When you look around, there are things when I write, when I take notes from people, a star means a striking point I need to observe. When I double star it, look at it twice. When I triple star it, that means meditate. When I arrow it, that means an action point. That is the way I take notes. So when I'm reviewing the note, when I get to action point, every time I attend, I attend a conference, this one is even, can you see, look at it, at these two arrows, I, I, should I come close there, you see, see, these three arrows, 
and then there's an arrow on it. Look at this one. You see, some are having only one arrow. This one is only two. This one is triple. That is the way it is. So now, when I leave the conference, now this is Shiloh 2019. When I leave the conference, I will sit down. The ones that are at some point, you act on them. Even though nothing will change, I will be in Shiloh 2020 with my head again, receiving anointing oil, receiving mantle. I don't know. <laughs> my life will not change. Because even the one I got last year, I'm not bad at it. People will keep attending and nothing will change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, re the result already, they like to see results. Hallelujah. And then number four, build up your faith. Don't forget, we are looking at how to translate knowledge to action. Is that true? Build up your faith to follow divine leaders. Build up your faith to what? Follow divine leading. Deuteronomy 2 verse 3. Deuteronomy 2 verse 3. And then Exodus 3 verse 8. I learned as many was ministering that the way I should minister also, people used to write because me too, I was struggling to get the point. That was God telling me. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I'll be I've learned now. <laughs> the drawing to the two by three. And then because most of the other people say, What is what is I was like, I, I used to wonder why they're not getting me. Now I understand. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the drawing me two by three. God was saying, You have compared this mountain long enough. Turn you what? Not what? Every day by 3 verse 18, God appeared to Moses. Why, why are we not having vibrations now? The volume is low. Okay, now it's low. You, you mean it was lower than, the, than, than on Sunday? Okay, so it's okay now. Because on Sunday, I was just like a statue here. I couldn't move. So I can move now on Sunday. All right, praise God. So build up your faith to follow divine leadings. Because it's not enough. Many of us have received instructions in January 2022. Yes. I'm not well, I'm not reacted. <laughs> and then it's what? September what? Nine. Nine months have gone. <laughs> and then we have October, November. We only have three months. For the year to finish. And then watch now, all of us wore sweat and went to church, cross overnight. Lord, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? And then we carry barrel and become professional secretaries. And then we wrote the instructions. And then we are not acted on them. Hallelujah. That's the truth. Because many people have to say, many people call and told them to start business this year. But they never started. They don't have the faith to follow divine leadings. I wouldn't have started church. Hallelujah. You know. God used to, to speak to me about you, but I know you don't know. God is telling me about yes. My initial instruction I had was to start a church, but I didn't want church. I didn't like church. I didn't like church people. I don't want to do Friday ministry, let the ministry is interested. Let's come, people, let's come and be blessed. That's what I wanted. So all the while I've been on it. From June last year, I knew God was not with me. God left me. You know the way God leaves a man? Not that because I sin, I knew God was not with me. The presence, the power, everything. Not that I, was, I want, I knew God was not with me. I knew it. <laughs> and I knew that was it. And the social was clear. Church, I didn't want it. This God my fear and see this was it. I didn't want to start church. Yeah, I should start. I should start. Threatening to call my spiritual brothers. And in fact, my spiritual brother, when he came to integrate this ministry, he told me it was a church. Everybody knew my friend. Talk, everybody, but I didn't even just wanted to church. I remember when I came to Formula and said, Do you know all Sunday services? I said, God, what is this? Do you know what I asked question? I was that time and I was in the midst of that agreement. Which month was it? But it was after July or something like that, right? Yes. I was in the midst of that argument. I was in the midst of it. Hallelujah. I just have to follow and follow this valid and I've started. Just imagine what God has done in my life from January to now. Personally, the growth spiritually in my life has never been like this. I wouldn't have known Mr. Simon. I wouldn't have known more. I wouldn't have known all of you here. But you may not be able to have time to come for Friday services. Is that true? Yes. Many people that sit down on Sunday services, I remember when I went to I was like, God, I wouldn't have met any of them. But they wouldn't have come. We don't have this level of influence and we wouldn't have thought about it. 
to the faith to follow God leadings. Very, very important. Are we together? Very, very important. Number five, way to translate knowledge to action. Take bold steps. What? Take what? Take bold steps. Knowledge alone will provide the needed result. Corresponding action is needed. You know, the Bible speaking in Romans chapter 8, from verse 10, from verse 8 to 10. Say, don't go far to look for Christ. The word is near you, even in your mouth. Then verse 9 says, what does verse 9 says? Um, with the heart, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Then verse 9 says, with the heart, man believeth. So that means if you believe in your heart and you don't confess, you will not be saved. Is that not true? In, in Mark, Mark 2 chapter 9 from verse 18 to 20. Remember the woman with the issue of blood? She knew that Jesus will heal her. Or she knew that Jesus could heal her. If she never took that bold step to touch him, she would have remained with her sickness. It's not true. That, what, that knowing that he could heal her, did he heal her? He didn't. Every Christian knows that Christ is a healer. But many people have never taken the action to take to dear the faith. Many Jesus Christ left many people with sick people. Remember when he went to the pool, he only healed one man and left. And the Bible said there were plenty important folks. One person he healed him and he left. But he knows who have remained blind for life. If he never took the action to voice out. So take both steps. We wouldn't have known that God can preserve people like in Daniel chapter 3 verse 16. And how God preserved Daniel and the three Hebrew men. See, don't kill, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. Don't throw us to the fire. Don't waste, stop wasting your time. It might have kind of boldness. So anything God has told you that you know, dear it. Do you hear what I said? Take action about it. If God says release a song, release it. If God will record anything, don't allow instruction to procrastinate. Remember when I taught on, on 10 bad daily habits? One of them was what? Procrastination. What I'll do today, I'll do tomorrow, and then you'll never do it. Don't procrastinate. When you are supposed to do something, do it. When the instruction is still hot. Do you understand what I'm saying? When the instruction is still hot. Do it when you want to make eba at higher temperature. At the temperature that's where you make the eba. When the temperature reduces, the eba will not be it become semo. Is that not true? The temperature for the temperature for pop. At the heat of the instruction, take it. Don't allow it to calm down. When you want to propose, at the heat of that emotional high highness, and the that is your reason very well. I'm not saying it's so good. Take the above step, hallelujah. Because if you calm down and begin to analyze, she will say no, she will say no, you never dare it. Don't go. By the time you are back to your senses, you have only proposed. You are going to answer. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, all right. When you want to take a step, just do it. When I receive instruction and it's hot, I, if it's a I will send a message. So that I, before I come to my senses, I already send a message and the person has already had it. And the way I come back to my sense, I will be thinking of how do I solve this problem. <laughs> what if it's backfire? But I'm telling you, because if I think over analysis, need to paralysis. Do you understand? Over you must over analyze things. Our eyes like this idea because you know too much. You know the white ex. You know you know the, the ten ways Newton law. You know about this. You know about permutation formula. You know about twenty principles, twenty thirty rules. You know about uh, Pareto's principle. You know about how many principle. You know about You know about the law. You know about the, you know. About, Forget that thing. Take action. Is that not true? Yes, Take action. Take bold steps. Dear step. Dear big things. Praise God. Dear big things. I learned by experience that if I ask for big things, they will come. Because God is naturally big. That is why somebody will make a mistake by asking me, What do you want? Just do what you can do. Don't ask me that kind of question. <laughs> when you ask me, I will not look at you. I will tell you what I need. <laughs> do you understand? Just pray, you see, you will know. <laughs> they say, what do you want, Papa? What can I do for you? Ah, the answer I will give you. 
You know I made a request. Yeah, go, I will not look at your size because I don't know what is your size. I will go and say, give me 1,000 now. Meanwhile, I have to basically give 10 million naira. I don't know. Do you understand? They are big things. They are big things. So the, the best neutral answer is telling the person, just do what your strength can carry. That's not true. I have two, two advice to give you. Don't forget, knowledge alone will not provide the solution until you take action. And then finally, frustration, hopelessness, and depression will be part of your life when you don't act on the word of God. Psalms 42 verse 5. The Bible says, Why are that cast down, O my soul? Hope in the Lord, for I shall yet praise him who is the hope of my salvation. That's what he's saying. Yes. You'll be frustrated. Do you know how many Christians are frustrated in church? Because they know too much and they have done nothing about it. Is that not true? Our parents are frustrated because they know too much and they have not done about it. That's what they call in science or engineering, particularly chemical, that's what we call saturated solution. So what we call super saturated solution. So what we call under saturated. You know what is a solution? You know a solution is what we, when you mix a solvent and a solid. Is that correct? There be a level when you get okay. Let me use Gary now. Let me leave, let, let me use Gary to explain. There's a level of Gary when you put the water. So when the water is too much and the Gary is too little, do you understand? That is under saturation. When the Gary is the same level as the water, that's taking enough Gary. That is saturation. And then when the Gary is over the water, that is super saturation. Many elders and our parents have known too much. They have been in church for 40 years. Hey, talk to them say later. Hallelujah. They have been in church for many years. And they have never acted upon what they have been hearing. They have been hearing about tithe, about giving, about honoring, about for God to multiply your finances. For 35 years, many of them, oh, but they have never done it. That's the truth. And then they wonder what at, at 70, at 50, they are frustrated financially. And then they will be angry and pour the frustration on their pastors. He's the one buying bed, buying new car, buying new car, and Allah is eating our money. Meanwhile, it's not your money. It's doing the principles that I have been teaching you and I have not been doing. Because if you can do it, God is not a respecter of persons. It's the same principle. If I don't give, eh, I will never have money. I hope you know that. I will become a professional thief. I will learn how to prophesy money out of people's pocket. Because I'll be dependent on their money. But the way to have my money is by giving. If I give, people will give me. When I started giving my 2018, August 2018, when I started blessing my financial, my spiritual father on a consistent basis, that was the first time somebody called me and said, Sir, I want to send so so and so amount to you every month. That was the first time ever. Yes. If I had not done it, it wouldn't have happened. And that 2018 was when I decided and started it and remained at it. That 2018, I knew about it 2016. But I never took action. I never saw the result. If we don't pay tight as a ministry, we will never see money the more we are seeing. Many people know they will, a church should be paying tight, but they don't. And then they'll be frustrated financially. We don't call people this January, this is September. We have, not, I have not, we have not called one person. I have not. And I will not say, please send us some money. We need to send us some money. No. There are people that God will touch them to give. Because in the law, we give without pressure. Yesterday, I transferred the tithe of, of August. Of the church. Calculated everything that came in. We don't do gross or net. Everything that comes in. Calculate how much was it? If it was 50,000 naira, the tithe is 5,000 naira. No argument. Transfer. And people will give. Because it's the principle. If we don't give as a church, we become broke. Are we together? Yes. Because the Bible says the priest, when they collect the tithe, they should give tithe of tithe. That's what the Bible says. But many pastors will know it and will not do it and will be frustrated. We don't get blessed because we are men of God. We get blessed because we do the principle. So you'll be frustrated if you don't. That is why some, some marriages will never work. Because they don't want to follow the Bible. Women know submit your husband, but they will not. They will not. They will carry his picture. And anoint the husband's face in his clean from the picture. Yes. 
She may be talking with the other picture. Lord, turn his hand. Anointing, anointing, communion on the picture. Till the real picture comes and clean from the picture. <laughs> and then go home, remain, and nothing has changed. He's talking to her and pray and pray and pray. He's talking to her, go and bath, she'll not bath. She has come to be a professional news washer. I think that was she married. She will not pass for the husband. She'll be cleaning, cleaning, please. I think she married to be a, a dishwasher. Hallelujah. Focus attention on the children. I think she married children. And then on Sunday, she's carrying the husband picture. Lord, tell my husband is giving me tough time. It will never change. The way for him to change is to submit. That's what the Bible says. They know it, but they will never do it. And then they are saying the devil is fighting them. No devil anywhere. Many people is not devil problem. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many, many men knows the way to, to, to get their wife's attention is simply by submitting. Hallelujah. Simply by submitting. Me share the story of the submission of his dad. It's not simple. If you have to bath, oh bath. Is that not true? Yes. There are people that when they get up from the bed, they arrange the bed. They don't like to see a squish on the bed. They are that neat. I, I was reading the story of I was reading the story of a guy that that was the way he was when he got married. If he get up in the middle of the night to go and wee wee, when he returns, he will arrange the bed. Then he said that the night he married, when he woke up to go and wee wee and he returned, he woke the wife to get up. Yes, <laughs> to get up from the wife to arrange the bed. That is the way he was. Just so imagine if you marry a sanguine lady. You are doomed. Hallelujah. So many people know but they don't apply. But I know you will not be like that in the name of Jesus Christ. As we share the knowledge that we have to share in the month of knowledge and revelation, we will apply them. If we share on taking dangerous steps, we will take dangerous steps. Is that not true? Now can we appreciate God for his word and say, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We honor you. We appreciate you. We bless you. Thank you for what you have shared to us tonight. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your word. In Jesus' name. Can we ask God for grace to take corresponding action to all we have heard and all that we've been taught? Can we receive grace? Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. Come on, talk to God. Come on, God. You're supposed to be talking to God. Talk to God and say, Father Lord, I receive grace to take action. I receive grace. 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 Masha pata la mante te kono mala do kabala na mala na masha. Kebara do mala do kabro gado ne ge de kono mala do kabro do mala do sha. Aya mante ke de pradika na bara gala gada ya. Lord, I receive grace. I believe you believe in my prayers father we receive grace every instruction that we are lagging behind as we leave this night i pray that may they be restless till they take action everything you have told someone here and the person has not acted upon it take their sleep away is that a good prayer is that a good prayer till you act upon it in the name of jesus christ and as we act upon it, we'll see the results. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We ask the Lord, may we see results in the name of Jesus Christ. Our office has been in this month of September. Women give birth after nine months. That's not true. That means this is a month of harvest. This is a month of supernatural supply. I speak as one called of God that your windows be open. May you reap a harvest you have, you have been sowing and you have never believed you sowed. May you reap sevenfold, fourfold, twofold, onefold, and manifold ways in Jesus' precious name. And we can cast our offering. The compass you need has just been delivered into your hands. You can get all the anointed messages on our Telegram channel at Shekinah Encounter Center Sermons. For more inquiries, you can also call 080-6522-6276 or 080-26-11-2114.
remain rapturable, 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 rapturable. rapturable.